Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain about how to check the input ear is a leap ear or not the leap ear. Here I am using simply if else block. But before going to write the program, first we should know the logic of leap ear. Simple. Here the number, the number which is divisible by 4 is nothing but all the 4 multiples are leap years. Leap years. Here it is a 400 multiples also leap years. But remember 100 multiples are not leap years. 100 multiples are not leap years. Sir, 4 is also, 100 is also 4 multiple. Suppose here 4, here it is a 16 like and here it is a 36, here it is a 96 and so on. 100 is also is a 4 multiple. But remember 96 is a leap year and next one 104 is a leap year. But 100 is not the leap year. 100 is not the leap year. In the same way 200 is not the leap year. 300 is not the leap year, again 400 is a leap year. All the 400 multiples are leap years and 4 multiples are leap years, but not 100 multiples. Then how can we simplify the logic? Using if else condition, so I am writing the code, okay. First program execution starts with the main function, main. We are just reading one year. We are collecting into variable n simply and here we are asking printf enter year. So, what is that year you want to check leap or not? So, that we are reading using scanf percentage d and address of n. Address of n. Now, we need to check that n is a leap year or not. What are the conditions? First thing if if here it is n is divisible by 400 equal to 0 directly we can say it is a leap year we can say it is a leap year just printf printf it is a leap year this is if it is a 400 multiple 400 800 1200 like this and here it is or next option next option suppose if n is divisible by 4 n mod 4 equal to 0 n mod 4 equal to 0 like it is applicable for 4 8 right 12 16 96 and it is applicable for 100 also suppose if you give input is a 100 100 mod 4 equal to 0 is condition true and it will give that leap year that you need to control. How to control? If it satisfies, here it is a n mod 100 should be not equal to 0. Should be not equal to 0. Right? Now observe. Here it is in this case, suppose if it is failed, then directly printf is a not leap. Just to understand, just to understand input values we are giving. What are the input values? Suppose 16, 400, 1300 and next one here it is a or like 400, 100 and next one 17. These are the four inputs we are giving. These are the four inputs. First we are checking 16 is a leap or not first. 16 mod 400 equal to 0 condition false because 16 is not divisible by 400. This condition fails. Is a OR operator. For logical OR operator, if first one is a fail, then it will go and check the second one. Second one means what? These two get satisfied. Now, 16 mod 4 equal to 0. Yes, condition true. 16 is divisible by 4. And 16 mod 100 is not equal to 0. Yes, this condition is true because 16 is not divisible by 100. Here it is not equal to 0. Yes, both are true. So, you will get the output is a leap. 
Next, suppose come to that 400. Here it is a 400 mod 400 equals 0. Condition true in the first case only. For OR operator, logical OR operator, if first one is a false, it will go and check the second one. If first one is a true, it will not go and check the second one. Because for OR operator, one true is enough to return true value. So, it will directly print what? Leap. Yes, 400 is a leap. Next, come to the third one, 100. 100 mod 400 equals 0 condition false because 100 you cannot divide with the 400. So, it fails. Now, come to this one. 100 mod 4 equal to 0, yes, condition true because 100 you can divide with a 4. But now, look at this. 100 mod 100 not equal to 0, no. 100 mod 100 equal to 0 that is divisible, but the condition is what? Opposite condition. 100 mod 100 is a 0, 0 not equal to 0, condition false, condition false. So, for end operator, both the conditions should be true. If first one is a fail, it will not go and check the second one, right? If first one is a true, it will go and check the second one, but here second one is also false. Then directly what will give? Not leap, because first one fail, second one also fail. Now, come to that last one, 17. Here it is a 17 mod 400 anyway, we cannot divide. 17 mod 4 equal to 0, condition false. If first one is a false, will it go and check the second one? No, directly it will give false. Both are false. Then what will give? Not leap. So, these are the 4 input values to check. First two comes under leap years, next two comes under not leap years. And this is the simple condition simple condition to test that input year is a leap year or not. Hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you.